Hey Trenton, you ever think about going vegan? What? Definitely not. Don't you remember what my favorite food is? Hot dogs, I know. Why you love processed meat so much is beyond me. Hey, hey, hey. If you ever had a nice, juicy New York hot dog, you'd get it. But anyways, why do you ask? You going vegan or something? I'm really thinking about it. The meat industry is a huge emitter of greenhouse gases, which really contributes to climate change. I get that. I'm just not sure I could give up the taste of meat, you know? Well, you may not have to. Let's take a look at a new vegan beef option. Wagyu beef could soon have a vegan alternative, thanks to scientists at Japan's Osaka University who have been 3D printing this lab-grown meat. They hope it could be a more sustainable alternative to the country's famed Wagyu beef and say the move could help address food and protein shortages in the future. Up until now, the university says, lab-grown or cultured meat has largely been minced. This, on the other hand, aims to mimic the high marble content and structure of Wagyu, which are the qualities that set it apart from other types of beef. Professor Michia Matsusaki and his research team first extracted bovine cells from Japanese black cows and manually pieced the fibers together to create the meat. We used bovine cells to generate and gather three types of fiber structures, fat, blood vessel and muscle to create a simple simulated structure of meat. There's no word on the taste, though. This Wagyu is not ready to be served up just yet. It currently takes up to four weeks to generate a small cube of Wagyu at a cost of 10,000 yen a gram, or approximately $89. Matsutaki said once the process is refined and automated, the meat could be mass-produced within five years, which would bring down the cost. Apart from addressing food shortage issues, Matsutaki also believes the technology could eventually be applied to regenerative medicine. If we replace it with human cells, we might be able to transplant human muscle generated from cells, such as thigh muscle, to where it's missing. That's where we're hoping for as we continue this research. Whoa, so these scientists are growing beef like plants in a lab. You bet they are, and not just any beef. Wagyu beef, which is one of the fanciest types of beef around at about $200 a pound. Using 3D printers and stem cells from a specific breed of cattle, these scientists are growing meat. That's crazy. It's utterly impossible. <laughs> it's in the early stages, but you better believe it's possible. Speaking of which, have you ever heard of Impossible Foods? Oh, like um, Impossible Burgers from Burger King. Yep. Similar to these scientists in Japan, Impossible Foods uses cells from beef in order to create plant-based meat that really tastes like meat. Hmm. Wow. I guess it is possible. You got that right. So, Trenton, what do you think? You willing to go vegan? I may have to try some vegan hot dogs first, but I could be convinced.